Welcome to the NatFL channel. From blatantly trying to tank to finishing with 10 wins and 6 losses last season and almost making the playoffs, the Miami Dolphins have swum a long way to get to where they are. Getting head coach Brian Flores turned out to be one of the better acquisitions as he brought with him a much-needed culture change in the locker room. While former New England Patriots personnel can be big hits or misses, ahem Bill O'Brien, Flores has been a hit. The front office has assembled one of the youngest rosters in the league with the potential to leap forward next season. At this rate, playoff football is once again on the horizon for the Dolphins. Below are four bold expectations for Miami. 1. Deshaun Watson comes to the Sunshine State. This may not sound so bold as Miami is one of the frontrunners to the Watson sweepstakes, but the competition will be extremely stiff. When a quarterback of his caliber and age is available, teams are all going to take a crack at signing him. The Dolphins have the cap space and assets to acquire Watson. The team can offer a package that includes Tunga Vailoa and multiple first-round picks. On top of not having to pay state income tax, Watson will find himself in a decent team situation that could be made better this offseason. He has weapons in wide receiver Devontae Parker, tight end Mike Jasicki, and their first pick who could be wideout Jamar Chase. The defense has playmakers like Xavier Howard, who just made his first All-Pro appearance after collecting 10 picks and 20 passes defended. 2. Trading down in the draft. The Dolphins have two first-round picks and two second-round selections. That is quite the ammunition in what is expected to be a solid draft. However, as promising as the team is right now, Miami should think about trading down, especially with their third overall pick to round out the roster. Quarterback needy teams might inquire of the pick to get the likes of BYU's Zach Wilson or Justin Fields from Ohio State. With his time in New England, Flores should be more than familiar with this strategy. One could argue that this approach is ideal in roster construction since more attempts in the draft could be more valuable than fewer picks at slightly higher positions. 3. Older, central statesman for the young offensive line. The offensive line was pretty bad last season, but it still performed better as a whole compared to the season prior. There is reason to be hopeful that the unit will get better as three of its members were rookies. Maybe even Isaiah Wilson will pan out? Center Ted Karras as a free agent, but even if he were not, the Dolphins would be wise to upgrade the position. Several teams groaned as they missed out on the best center in this free agency class, as Corey Lindsley signed a hefty pact with the Los Angeles Chargers. Fortunately, for those same teams, the Las Vegas Raiders unexpectedly released all-pro center Rodney Hudson. He has been one of the better centers this decade and is arguably the best pass-protecting one, despite his smaller stature. Hudson is no slouch on the run game too. Miami should seriously consider acquiring him. Center is one of those positions that would be best played by a veteran, as it requires a high football IQ, experience, and competent decision-making in calling for last-minute, blocking adjustments. A position that is better for younger players is running back, which will be discussed next. 4. Crimson Tide in South Beach Dolphins quarterback Tua Tungavailoa and running back Harris are good friends and were teammates at Alabama. The talented runner is one of the most well-rounded prospects in the draft and has been drawing attention, since high school, where he was classified as a five-star recruit. He has great size at 6'2 and 230 pounds. Harris can effortlessly run over defenders and produce significant yards after contact. Also, he is a threat in the passing game which is slowly becoming more common among NFL running backs. Another strength of his is ball security, so fumbles should not be an issue even at the next level. His pass protection needs some work, but he has the physical tools and mean streak necessary to be a good one. Miami had a substandard running game as they averaged 105.5 yards on the ground each game last season. Even with the Malcolm Brown signing, Adding Harris along with better offensive line play will provide a boost while diversifying the offense and taking off pressure on the quarterback. Everyone wants the warm, fuzzy feeling associated with reunions, but the Tunga Vailoa and Harris one could be short-lived or non-existent with the following scenario. 